Hello YouTubers, um, today's video will be about brushes and my brush collection that I have. Um, I have one MAC brush. I don't have all the MAC brushes like some videos do have, but um, I have Sephora brand brushes. Uh, I think MAC brushes are a little too expensive for me, especially since I'm starting off in makeup. So I think if I become a little bit more better, then I'll get MAC brushes, but for now I'm just going to talk about uh, Sephora brushes. And the first brush I have is a is a small eyeshadow brush. It's number 26, just to let you guys know. It says so right here at the bottom. If you really can't see that. No, you really can't see that. And it works well w in small areas, like by the tear duct. And it's flat, you see. I think it's real good to tell you for if you want to put it in the inner part of your eye. Yeah, it's good. The next brush I have, I'll put the brushes here. Next brush I have is a round crease brush. And I like it because it's dense. It packs on a lot of color. Yeah, it's good. On um, the number of this one I have is number 13. Yeah, it's good. I can't compare it to nothing else, so these are brushes I'm going to talk about. Next brush I have is a smudge brush. It's number 14, and it's tiny. Look at that. That's so cute. It's cute if you guys want to do a smoky eye look. If you want to put, like, uh, like an eyeliner underneath your eye and then smudge it out, it looks real, real nice. you got to check it out. Uh, next brush I have is a number, let me see the number, number 25. Sorry, my brushes are dirty. I know. Please don't criticize me because of it. Um, the brush number is number 25, and it's a large shadow brush compared to, let me show you guys again, small. This is a small one, and this is the big one. Wait, put them together. Wait. See? It's a difference. Um large one, you know, mostly if you want to do one whole eye in one color, it's very good. And you see from the side, see? Yeah, I like it. It packs on the color. Can't complain about it. Next next brush I have is a small eye eyeliner pointer brush. Uh, it's number 17, and it's perfect for underneath the under eye, or if you want to make the line where your eyelashes are. Yeah, it's real good. The only thing I don't like about it, it's too bendy. Like, you have to be very precise and make sure the brush doesn't bend or else your um your line won't come out perfect and you have to reapply, get a, a Q-tip and fix it all over again. So, this brush I'm not too fond of. So, I might get the MAC brush for this. Next brush I have is a concealer brush. I know. Look at that. Oh, gee, I really need to clean that. Um, the brush number is, uh, is 46. And it's good for concealing. Concealing underneath the eye, if you want to do um, concealing blemishes, is also good. So, yeah. Next brush I have is number 29, and it's a blending brush. And, oh, my God. Blending brush will be your new best friend because I, in my opinion, believe that blending brush is very important. It's the essential brush that you need when you're doing makeup because you don't want to put two eyeshadows and it has that very harsh line. Everybody knows what that line is. That, that could differentiate between one color and the other. And the blending brush, oh, it's so great. You just blend it. You see, look, you just blend it. And, it's, and it works. So I recommend one of the brushes to get is a blending brush. Next brush I have is a foundation brush. And this is number 47. I like the foundation brush. A lot of people complain that this brush leaves like a streak. I don't, for me, it doesn't leave a streak as long as you know how to put it on properly, the makeup, and do small little patches on your skin. Start off small, they always say start off small, and then put a lot on. Some people just put a lot on, and that's when the streaking happens, so, yeah. 
It's a very good foundation brush, I have to say. So, next brush will be blush brush. It's another essential brush that you need when doing makeup. This brush number is 41 from Sephora. And it's real good. I like it. It packs on the color. You know, it doesn't shed that much. That's a problem that some brushes have, is that they shed. But this one uh, hasn't given me no problem. I think the first two times I washed it, it shed. But other than that, it hasn't shed on me. No, I have to say, and it's a reasonable size. If I put it in my hand, see? Pretty small. And I like small brushes, especially when it comes to foundation, powder, and blush brushes. I do not like that long handle that MAC has. Don't see what the use for it is. So, not really my cup of tea. Uh, another brush I have is a powder brush. And this is number 49 from Sephora. And I think it's so cute and so small. Let me compare it into my hand. It basically fits in my hand almost. It's very compact. It fits. I always carry this in my pocketbook every time I wear makeup. It's that and my um, powder that I always carry. And it's so cute and there's a lot. Like the hair is very full. Can't really complain about it. And yeah, it's real good. Recommend it. And my last but not least, least brush is my MAC 208 brush. As you could tell, look, it has like a little angle to it. And this brush has a lot of multitasking. You could use this for a lot. Um, one thing you could use it for is the pencil in your eyebrows. You know, you could use a, a eyebrow liner, put some of it on here, and then put it on your eyebrows. That will work. This is also good for making that sharp line where your eyelashes are at. It makes a clear, distinct line. That's one thing I like about this brush. And you could put it as a lower lash line, too. It works well with that, too. Uh, not too well on the waterline. But it does work. So this is my only MAC brush that I have so far that I've bought. And I have to say I have no complaints about it. Um, MAC does keep their word that the brushes will last a long time for many years. And, yeah. Now, if, if you're starting off in brushes, my opinion, I think you should start off with a foundation brush. That's essential, because I do not like the sponges that much. This is 47, number 47. Second brush that you should get is a concealer brush. Very important when putting makeup on. This is number 46. Third brush you should get is a blush brush. This is number 41. A fourth brush you should get is a, what brush is this? This is a powder brush. And this is number 49. Yeah, you should get this. And one more you should get is a blending brush. It will be your best friend while putting eyeshadow. Yes, it has been mine. Can't complain. So those are my brushes that I have so far. As you can tell, brushes, brushes. And if you guys have any comments, just leave it right on the page. And I'll get back to them. So see you later. Bye.